Hi, I'm George Pearson, and this is my weekend blog post. We'll be looking today at some new programs that are just coming out at the Adobe over here, where they've just released the brand new 2019 version of Photoshop Elements. We'll be taking a quick look at that. We'll take a look at the Aurora HDR 2019, also which just recently came out, and I'll give you a fast demo on what that is, kind of a preview demo. I'll be doing a longer video about this real soon. Taking a quick look over here at On One Photo Raw as well. They just announced that their new version is coming out in November. Okay, let's go ahead, get the credits rolling, and get to it. We'll start this blog off with what I'm sure most people are most interested in, and that is the new Photoshop Elements. Go over here. Now, as usual, Adobe has hidden this thing on their website. I don't really know why. You won't find it up here anywhere on their creativity and design in there. But if you scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page, way down here, there's your link to the Elements 2019. Go ahead. We'll get in here. And here's their new announcement page. Now, this just came out a couple of days ago, so it's brand new. I'll be purchasing this program in a couple of days, and I'll be doing a video on the new features and changed features at the end of this coming week. So we'll be taking a look at that real soon. On glancing through their promotional stuff in here, it looks like the new version mostly has improvements in speed, which is always useful, and also stuff on their automated features. I'll take a look at those and we'll show you those in just a second where you can find information on how to compare this with other programs. Prices look like it's just about the same as it's always been. No real difference in here. You can save some money if you are a student or a teacher at an accredited university. I think it's about 20 bucks less that way. So that's a good deal. Now they have on this first page a comparison here of just the Photoshop and the Premiere Elements and the combined package, what you get in those two. But if you want to see what's actually new here in Photoshop Elements, let's take a look and just click on this link right there. This goes into the Photoshop Elements part of that. Here we go. And I'll scroll down again some more here. Now, you see here we have auto creations against the auto stuff, that the guided edits, those things. They have something new, which they're calling the Adobe Sensei AI technology. Not sure what this is yet. I'll be able to know about this a bit further later on this week as I begin to play with this program. So there is something here new, which hopefully will actually make some of these automated things work better. I've never been happy with the quality that these bring up. Maybe this will solve that quality issue. We'll just have to see. Now they do have you know, there's some stuff in here. Here's that open close eye bit. Maybe that solves some of the problems I've seen on that one. That's, it may not be working better. We'll have just, again, have to see on that. But as you can see, mostly it's just talking about these standard new, you know, creation stuff in here, organization. I don't really see anything new in here. Again, they're mentioned their Adobe Sensei AI, so we'll just have to see what that's all about. They're also bringing in a little bit more sharing. You can now share images to Twitter and share video at YouTube and Vimeo as well. Probably from the organizer is where that sharing will be happening. Let's now take a look and see what's actually new in here. I'll show you where we can find that. If you go up here to the top and over here to buying guide, again we're in the Photoshop elements part of this. Click on the buying guide and in here finally you'll find a comparison of features with previous versions. So the biggest change right off the bat here is a new, what they're calling a home screen. I think it's just the opening startup screen, but they're adding in some auto stuff in here. Little feature highlights inspiration, see what's new stuff in here, auto-generated creations. This will be just grabbing stuff from your existing catalog and showing you some things that you can do right from your catalog. Neat, interesting, kind of a trick. Maybe we'll just have to see about that. Faster performance, that's fine. HEIF support if you're on the Mac OS. I don't know what that is, but there you go. Fast installation process. It installs fast anyways. That's not really an issue. But So there's this new start page or home page. Again, I have no idea what that is until I buy the program in a couple of days. Now if we scroll down here, this, well, this is the 2018. This is the version 15 in here. 
And as I scroll down, notice there really isn't anything new up there. Down here, there's some new stuff in these step-by-step -step guided edits. Again, something which I really don't get into that often. Multi-photo text, partial sketchy effect, meme maker, text and border overlay. These, these are all things that I prefer to do manually over in the expert mode of Photoshop Elements. But that's some new stuff in there. Again, it's the automated stuff here that appears to be new with the program. Again, lots more of this, you know, nothing has changed in there. We get down here. Again, more of these creations, auto creations. Again, they're mentioning this Adobe Sense, so I just have to see what that's all about. And they've brought in some redesigned templates here on the photo collages. If you use those, maybe those redesigned templates are interesting as well. I just have to see on that also. But that's it. I mean, as you can see, there's really nothing mentioned in here new that I would personally be interested right off the bat. It's all automated stuff. But it might be good. There may be other things in here as well. Frequently, I, I find other changes and updates that Adobe doesn't mention on this product comparison page that actually are a good improvement. So just again, we'll just have to see on that, and I'll try to get that video up by the end of this coming week. So there you go. Big announcement that uh, the Photoshop Elements and Premiere Elements 2019 versions are both now available, and I'll grab my copy in just a couple of days. You can usually find Photoshop Elements for sale on Amazon.com, or if you go right to Adobe, again, just click on the Adobe, and if you're on the first page, just scroll all the way down to the bottom, right down there, that's where you'll find that link. Okay, let's move on, take a look at Aurora HDR 2019. Now, this just came out with their 2019 version. This is a great program if you do HDR images. Now, true HDR images means that you have several exposures taken of one scene, and then you combine the best parts of those exposures into one new picture. And the Aurora HDR 2019, this is the best program I've found so far for doing that. This is just a, a great program. So if you are really into high quality photography and you want to get details in your dark areas and keep details in your really bright areas, HDR is the way to go on doing that. I'll show you a demo here in the program in just a second. Version 19 just came out. It's just about 100 bucks right now, $99 and very easy to use program, very, very fast program, and gives you just wonderful control. See, here's an example. Those are the three that they combined, and there's the final on that, along with some tweaks that they did in there. Same thing up here. There's the original. This is taking just a still image and then applying all their controls to bring out all your color and values and so forth. It's a great program for doing that. It's you know a little a little limited in some senses. It doesn't have a lot of features of a full image editing program, but it's amazing how much it actually does have. You actually could do all of your photo editing right inside here if you didn't need to do you know layers and stuff like that. This is just a, a great program. Let's take a look now and see exactly how this works. When you open the program, you get this opening screen with some information down here on how to use it. Very useful tools. They also have a sample image. You can go ahead and work with their sample image if you don't have one to play with. It also gives you the options to open up one image or to do batch processing on a bunch of images right at the start. We'll click on Open Image. And here I have some pictures taken in my dining room. And you can see here it's a daytime image. And to get a good exposure for the stuff outside of the window, I had to expose for that. And then you can't see anything in here, it's just all black in there. If I expose for the inside, which is maybe between these two somewhere, that's real nice to get some good detail in here, but you can't see anything outside of the window. It just completely blows out, right there, just, just burns the whole window out. This is where an HDR program really comes in. It can take these things and pull the best parts of the images into one new image, and you get the best of all of your exposures combined into one. Let's go ahead and see how this works. I'm just going to hold the shift key down here and select all five of these images. Choose open. It's going to go through then and figure this out. So here's his basic figuring. Let's now create the HDR. And it's doing its magic. And you'll see how actually how fast it is. Very, very fast. And there you go. It's first shot. 
it's already very nice. Good exposure inside here, and it has given me that detail outside the windows. This is now a nice photograph. It's actually solved that problem. This is something that I learned way back when, when I used to work in the film industry. If we had this problem in the film industry, we would actually put filters on the window panes, dark filters on the window panes, to tone down the light coming through the windows so you get a better exposure that way, since they couldn't do this combining, obviously. But you don't have to do that here. Simply use this kind of a program. Now, where the HDR is excellent in here is that you have other options down below to change exactly the quality. There's a realistic exterior, realistic interior, bright exterior, bright interior. So you can kind of choose which one you want to look at. Here's detailed interior. It gives you a really nice quality. It's kind of beefed up the contrast, as you can see. And there's a nice little slider control here to adjust how much. So it gives you a, a great option and lots of choices to find exactly the right exposure for a good picture. And then over on the right hand side we have all of our standard controls as well. Here's your HDR basic stuff, white balance, temperature, tint, exposure, contrast. This is very much like the Lightroom program. There's your color, here's your HDR enhance options, denoise. You can even do LUT mapping in here, radiance, detail boost, glow, putting gradients, tone curves. So the complete range over here on the right hand side of all of your standard image controls as well. So again, this is the best program I've found for doing this kind of merging of several exposures into one great image with HDR. And I highly recommend this program. I'll be doing a full video about this in just a, a little bit. Okay, let's move on and take a look at the last thing I wanted to show you here. And that's just that On One Photo Raw has just announced version 2019 coming out in November. They don't say when in November, but sometime in November, version 2019 will be coming out for On One Photo Raw. Now, I wasn't that happy when I first took a look at version 2018. I had some problems with that on my test computer, but they had an update 20. 18.5 and that solved all those problems and now I like this program quite a bit. So now it's a great great program, great addition to other image editing programs. Now the Aurora HDR program also can be run as a plugin inside of Photoshop and inside of Lightroom but not Photoshop Elements. The On One Photo Raw will run as a plugin inside of Photoshop or Lightroom or also Photoshop Elements. So it has that ability as well. And just to make this real easy, over here on georgepearson.com, I have a couple of links right over here to take you right to those pages. Now these are affiliate links, and I do get a little bit of money on here to help support the website. Not much. On the On One Photo Raw, if you click on that link, I'm going to get 35 cents for that click. So it's not a whole lot of money coming in, but it helps to pay for the blog space and so forth. Okay, so there you go. That's a look at some of the new stuff coming out right now. And as I mentioned before, this is the time of year when all the programs come out with their new updates. And I'll try to mention all that stuff as I find out about it. And as I get my copies, I'll do new feature videos. And then depending on the program, I'll be doing full training titles as well. For instance, I'll be doing a full training title on the Elements 2019 programs here fairly soon. I'm gonna try to get the Photoshop Elements 2019 done sometime in November if possible. Okay, there you go. And thanks for watching this blog. Don't forget to share this blog with your friends through the share button. Just go right down there below the video, hit that share button, and share it out to your social media. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com.